In this video, you will learn how to tune a guitar using the Guitar Tuner app, spelled T-U-N-A, like the fish. Hi, my name's Miranda from The Guitar Path. Our programs and courses are designed to make progressing on this instrument and becoming the musician you want to be simple and fun. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and the mailing list. So there are a few methods to tune a guitar, but this is a quick, easy and a free option. A few tips for when you download the Guitar Tuner app. You have to choose whether you want the free or paid version, and the free version is all you really need for basic tuning. And you'll also have to allow microphone access so that the app can do its job. So when we open up the app, we see a little visual representation of the headstock of the guitar, which is this thing here at the end of the neck. And you'll also see little tuning pegs. And it's these tuning pegs that will make the adjustments to the string. So you can hear that note changing. In the beginning, you'll probably need to keep checking which string is attached to which tuning peg so that you don't end up twisting the peg of an entirely different string to the one that you're hoping to tune. So if you twist the peg one way, the string tightens and the note or the pitch of the string goes higher. And then if you twist it the other way, the string will get looser and then you will be lowering the pitch. If you're tuning an electric guitar, unless you're in a really quiet room, you'll probably want to plug into an amplifier so that the uh, tuning app can actually hear the notes that you're plucking. Unless you know that your strings are pretty much in tune, you want to make sure that the app isn't in auto mode. So it will be in auto mode by default when you download the app. So you want to tap the toggle at the top right of the screen and it should go from green to gray and that will mean it is now in manual mode. So when you start to tune a string, you'll pluck it and the app will tell you if the note is too high or too low and then you'll twist the tuning peg to bring it into tune. The app will tell you if you're going in the right direction because it'll show you whether you're getting closer or further away from the desired note. Keep plucking and adjusting and when you hit the right note, it'll light up green and make a ding sound. So to begin, I'm gonna tap the circle on the lower left hand side of the screen, the one that says E. So now the app knows that I wanna tune this big bassy E string. So I'm gonna pluck the string nice and loud so the app can register it. It says it's too low. So I'm gonna twist the peg and bring it into tune. I'll twist it so it goes tighter so the pitch goes higher. Okay, so it's happy now. Now I'm gonna go on to the A string, so I need to tap the circle that says A. Now, there's a nasty little story, and if you memorize it, it'll help you to remember the note names of your strings. So it's Eddie eight dynamite goodbye Eddie. So the notes of the string, from you know, the one closest to my head down to the floor, are E, A, D, G, B, E. So Eddie eight dynamite goodbye Eddie. So now the app knows I wanna tune the A string. So it says it's too high, so I'm going to actually lower the note to a note that's even lower than the desired pitch, so you can have a listen. And then I'm bringing it back up, and including this little extra step of going a little bit lower and then back up to the right uh, pitch actually helps the guitar string stay in tune, so it's totally worthwhile doing that. Onto the D string. Okay. So it's too low. So hopefully that all made sense and you would now feel comfortable going on to tune the G, the B and the little E string. So one thing to note is that your guitar is going to go in and out of tune based on the weather and taking the time to keep it in tune is not only kind to you know the people around you who can hear you playing, it's also going to help you develop your oral skills and your musicianship skills and help you keep up motivation because if you've got to play something on an out of tune guitar and you know it's probably not going to sound very good but if your guitar's in tune you might actually be 
pleasantly surprised. Also, if you're keeping your guitar pretty much in tune, you can actually use the Guitar Tuner app in auto mode, which will make it even faster as you won't have to keep tapping the app every time you want to tune a new string. It'll automatically just recognize the one that you're plucking. So moral of the story, keep your guitar in tune. Thank you so much for watching and learning with me today. I hope it has helped you to take a few more steps in your guitar path. Hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.